Welcome back. Again, let's look at another leverage problem where we have to find out the DOL, DFL, DCL and interpret the results. And plus we have another part in this problem. If sales increase by 10%, what will be the change in EBT and EBIT? If EBIT decreases by 10%, what is the change in EPS? Very similar to the previous leverage problem that I had done earlier. All right. First things first. Income statement sales. What is sales? Output is 80,000 units times 20. So that works out to one lakh or oh, 16, yeah, 16 lakhs minus variable cost. All right, minus variable cost. What is variable cost? 80,000 units into 12. So 80,000 into 12 works out to 9 lakhs 60,000. So you have contribution. All right, so what, so what is contribution? It'll be 6 lakhs 40,000 minus fixed costs. What is the fixed cost? 3 lakhs. So after that, you'll get operating profit or EBIT. All right. So we are left with 3 lakhs 40 minus interest payment. Interest is given 1 lakh 40,000. Okay. So, so the EBT earnings before tax will be 2 lakhs all right now let us calculate the dol degree of operating leverage now what is dol dol is contribution by ebit so contribution here is 6 lakhs 40 what is ebit 3 lakhs 40 so the answer is 1.88. Then DFL. Now again, DFL, you know, you have two formulas. One is when there is no preference dividend. The other one is when there is preference dividend. Now in this problem, again, there is no preference dividend. So the formula will be DFL is equal to EBIT divided by EBT. EBIT is 3 lakhs 40 and EBT is 2 lakhs and that works out to 1.7 and finally you have DOL uh, sorry DCL degree of combined leverage is equal to DOL into DFL or contribution by no uh, by EBT so contribution is six lakhs forty Your EBT is two lakhs all right so if you calculate it'll come to work out to two point one three all right so interpretation interpretation Number one, for DOL, a 1% change, increase or decrease, a 1% change in sales will result in a 
1.88% change in EBIT. All right. Number two, DFL. A 1% change in EBIT will result in a 1.7% see we have found out 1.7% change in EBT or EPS all right and finally DCL degree of combined leverage a 1% change in sales will result in a 2.13% change in EBT or EPS. All right, so we're done with the interpretation. Now, the problems, there's an one part of the problem. It says that if sales increase by 10%, what will be the change in EBT and EBIT? So that means now sales, when sales is connected to EBIT, DOL comes in, degree of operating leverage. When sales is connected with EBT, then DCL will come in, degree of combined leverage. And in this case, if you know BT, e, EBIT is connected with EPS, then what will happen? Then DFL will come in. So let's look at the first one. If sales increases by 10%, what will be the change in EBT? All right. So let's do it. Let's write A. If sales increases by 10%, then EBIT will increase by, so I told you since sales and EBIT, when they are connected, DOL will come in. So what is the DOL here? 1.88. Now since there is a 10% increase, so sales will also increase by 18.8%. If sales increases by 10%, the EBIT will increase by 18.8%. B. If sales increase by 10%, the EBT will also increase by so sales and EBT when there's a connection it'll be DCL so 2.13 so 21.3 percent all right and C if EBIT decreases by 10 percent what is the change in EPS if EBIT decreases by 10%, the earnings per share will decrease by, so when, so when EBIT is connected to EBT or EPS, okay, DFL will come in, so 1.7. So if EBIT decreases by 10%, the EPS will also decrease by 17%. So that is how you solve this problem. Very simple problem.